Hello, grifters and grinders. My name is TB Sky, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. Now, if you remember, uh, we are currently on the grind to gather enough materials to upgrade our weaponry so that it becomes, you know, less terrible and can actually kill some things. Because I would, I would like to to be able to kill things. Killing things is good. That is very much the point of the game. And I've been doing a little bit of that off camera as well, because. It's a nice way to relax, and over the course of doing that off-camera, I managed to find enough tracks to the B-52, B B uh, B uh, um, the Beetlejuice, the uh, B uh, the thing, the, the flying asshole with the scales that explode. And now I've got a mission to go and kill him in the Coral Highlands, which I'm not going to go on, because... Because he killed me last time. He killed me really, really badly. What I've decided to do instead is go on a bit of a mission on my own, my, of my own to create better fire-resistant gear uh, for myself, because I assume those scales do fire damage and then they inflict blast blight. So I'm, I'm gonna try and prepare for that next story hunt and maybe get it done before Saturday when I'm streaming with people and see if I can't take him on. Bia, Bia, that guy. See if I can't take him on, on my own, with properly leveled up gear. That should give me a chance to, you know, survive. And in the course of that, I've start, sort of started mapping out some priorities. For example, for armor, I've decided that the Anjanath armor is probably at the moment my best option in that I can probably kill Anjanaths on my own, like, without getting my entire shit wrecked. <laughs> and also that they have pretty solid fire resistance all around and that they should uh, give me decent like, they give me not not all of the abilities that I want, especially because I don't really need artillery for anything, but it gives me level 2 fire resistance, thank god. Um, and gives me Marathon Runner, which is vaguely useful, and then I've decided to go for the beta set because then I can insert my own uh, decorations to give it some more abilities that I want, which is lovely. Secondarily, I've decided to pursue uh, some weapons that might be useful to me, specifically some that inflict status changes. I'm looking to upgrade my first dance to a uh, last dance because that has sleep element. One thing I've not been able to figure out though is why element is grayed out on this weapon. And like on stuff like the Dazzling Flash, which I do have, and the, um, the Iron Grace, which I do have, where they have elements but they're grayed out, and I don't know why, because on stuff like the the Vibrant Blade Verde, they're green, and very obvious, and then they're not, and then here the fire is green, and here the poison is green, and then here the sleep is grayed out, and I don't... I don't know why that is. Like, here the paralysis is grayed out for some reason. Is that because it only pops when you do critical attacks, or...? Only when your meter is high or something? I don't know that. If anyone knows that, please feel free to tell me in the comments. I'm sure it's in, of information that's theoretically available, but uh, I can't figure out wh how to do it with the get to do the thing. Yeah, because see here, here it says that the last dance goes from none element to none element. But here it says it has sleep element, so I don't... Is, do you have to, is there an uh, upgrade, do you have to do a thing to make it have the element? Because I sure would like to be able to inflict sleep on things. That would be good. I would love that, but I don't know if I can, but my plan for the moment is to hunt some Kuru Yaku until I can at least get the weapon, and then we'll figure out how to activate sleep on it later. And then get myself some fire armor, and then give it a shot on the big scaly boy, that particular dickhead. Which means I don't think I have any cool Yaku plus investigations, but it's worth checking. Because that makes it a lot easier. And if I don't, we'll just have to go to the Wild Spire Waste and find one. They're usually available, right? I've also tried to start vlogging again, because I noticed that I was using a lot of these Monster Hunter videos as kind of excuses to vlog a little bit about stuff that's been on my mind, and when stuff is on your mind, it's better just to have an outlet that's actually designed to accommodate it. So the vlog channel is a little bit... Oh, I do have high-level Kuliyaku quests. Do I have a capture one? I should check.
Yes. Okay, hunt and capture. Excellent. Because let's do a couple of hunts and a couple of captures. That should do the trick for the materials that I need. And I'm not going to let other people join me. I am on an online server, uh, just in case I want to do... Like, maybe, maybe I want to jump into an SOS signal or join someone else on their quest. I don't know. That could be fun. But yeah, the vlog channel is a little bit more active. Uh, you should be able to find a link to that from my main channel page. I don't think I'm going to bother putting a link down in the description of this video, because I figure if you know about my second channel, you can probably find my vlog channel. It's in the description of all the videos on my main channel. It might be in the description of the video, actually. I might have put that in the template for all the... Yeah, you can probably find it. Anyway, I've been doing stuff on the vlog channel. More about my personal feelings and stuff. So if you're interested in that, it's certainly available to you. Uh, I think this is a hunt and not a capture mission, isn't it? That's the kind of thing you shouldn't forget. Anyway, let's go get that bastard bird. that keeps picking up rocks and annoying me. And I'm picking up all the things that give me research points right now, because finally, much like with the money, the game has finally started actually like, forcing me to think about how I spend my research points a little bit. I can see them going down, because a lot of the deliveries, a lot of the things that I have to do with research points are becoming more and more expensive, which finally... Because, like, I've commented on it before, but really, this game was extremely generous with its resources. Oh, hello. Oh, -ho. instead of running away, you're coming right to me? You're approaching me? Yes, that's a JoJo's reference, but it's not so much a JoJo's reference, this is the reference to the JoJo meme, because I haven't actually seen JoJo. Although I did once watch uh, the OVA version of JoJo's fight with Dio, like that final fight. There was an OVA that they made, I think, back in the 90s or something? And I have watched that version of the fight. I haven't watched the version from the modern-day JoJo anime. So I don't know how different they are, if at all. I've been hunting the Sitsi Yaku a little bit. And that bastard with his sideswipe kicks and stuff is just proper dickhead to deal with. The Kulo Yaku, who doesn't have those annoying sideswipe kicks, is somewhat more straightforward, I think. Even on high level. <sighs> Damn it. Yeah, okay, that doesn't count as a dodge, I see. I accept that. I take the L on that one. Damn it, that was supposed to go to the side. That would have looked so cool if I not failed. Uh-oh. Activated the Paratoad. Didn't mean to do that. But I also don't mind. I'm just gonna try not to get into the stun cloud myself. That's just... Oh, really? I thought I had a damage boost. Well, I do now. Ow! Drop the rock, you dickhead. Darn it. There we go. That's what I like to see. Better. Because I am pretty familiar with the Kulu Yaku and its attack patterns. They're pretty simple. I should be able to... You know, not be a complete incompetent at dodging. <laughs> oh, he's running away. 
coward. Oh, well. I'll grab the material. Ooh, a Vivern tier. That's nice. I forgot to eat, didn't I? Yeah, I forgot to eat. Uh, uh, that's gonna cost me. Like, there's gonna be some hunts where I'm just gonna die because I forgot to eat like an idiot. Damn it. Thought he'd be a little bit faster than that. He's being backed up by those little... Oh, God damn it! Those little asshole Grimalkines. Damn it, I thought he'd jump over me on that one. My mistake. Just gonna... Compound my drinking problem a little bit. Nope. Please let me, please let me, please let me, please let me. Yes. Excellent. Damage boost full. Albeit I don't have enough ammo to make him drop that thing. Unless I pick up my stones again. Oh, hello, Bareth. I know I can beat you, but I'd rather not have to beat you at the same time as I'm trying to deal with a Kulu Yaku. So I'll just have you help me a little bit instead. Please don't come at me. Please don't come at me. Please don't come. Oh, he discovered me. He sees me now. And the Kulo Yaku is running away. Okay. I'm not dealing with the Bareth now. But I'll take the Paris rooms. I've been running a little bit low on uh, f uh, stun traps. I'll deal with the Bareth some other time, when I actually need his materials for something. I'm sure there's going to be some enemy that's weak to whatever he's got. Is it underneath the bridge? I wanted to do a drop attack. Well, maybe I can. Mm. No, I can't. Darn. All right. Oh, he's got his rock still. Why do you still have your rock? Oh, he's tired. I see. I still feel bad for the Kulu Yaku. Like, he looks so much like just a parrot or a bird or that big bird from Up. And I feel bad for, like, murdering him multiple times. It's not nice. Even if he is a bastard bird. Is he picking up a rock? No, he's not. Okay, hey. Nicely done, Captain Fussbutt. Just... Do that. Can I get this? Yes, damage boost back. Excellent. Now he's picking up a rock, but I have piercing pods. Ah! Stand still so I can hit you. Fine. Oof. Ow.
Okay, he's lethal damage range. All right. Well, I guess we'll just let him go to his lair then. If that's where he's going. I mean, I assume. Ooh. High level minerals. He doesn't sleep though, does he? He grabs an egg and starts eating. <laughs> Sorry to steal your meal, dickhead. Hey, I managed to stagger him out of picking up a rock. That's nice. Sorry, buddy. But you had to die for the greater good. My greater good, anyway. Not so much yours. And probably also for the greater good of whoever's eggs you were stealing. Hey, I've got enough for the Kula Yaku last dance weapon. Neat. So I just have to figure out how the hell to get it to, you know put enemies to sleep, which is what I wanted to do. Let's see. Anything you can gather around here? Oh yeah, round cactuses. Why not? They give research points, right? Anything else? Probably not, by the looks of it. Nope. Home we go. I'm slowly getting better at the longsword, but some people have been pointing out that it might be worth it for me to eventually start looking into other weapons. The only trouble with that is, in order to get weapons that are useful where I'm at right now, I <laughs> there would be a lot of grinding for materials. Which, gotta be honest, is not necessarily sure I want to. No. No, it's not, my dear friend. It is very much not time to hunt that monster yet. It is, in fact, definitionally not time at all to hunt that monster in any way, shape, or form. Uh, right, I don't have anything to deliver, but I do have some botanical stuff to deal with. Hello. Right, so... What do I need to cultivate? Probably fine for dragon fell berries since I don't use dragon ammo for anything. Same thing with the wyvern ammo. Spider webs might not be a bad thing to have because I need those for traps, but I did craft a whole bunch of traps recently, so that's probably fine. So yeah, bitter bugs and sleep herbs are probably the sensible thing to craft right now. Perfectly oh right, fertilize. Fertilize. I don't think I can do anything to make this speed up or there be more harvests, so I'll just do growth up. I guess. And go and forge that Kulu Yaku weapon. It's probably going to turn out that someone somewhere explained to me how the grayed out stats work on weapons, but I just didn't know or ignored it. Let's see. First dance into last dance. It's not a thing where you need a special kind of material in order to activate the thing. I hope not. I'm going to try it out anyway. I assume this weapon does not actually have sleep stat. It's just kind of vaguely pretending to. 
but it does have better damage than Iron Grace, which doesn't have any stats either, so... Iron Grace does have a material thing slot for item boot for attack boost though, so hmm. I don't know. Oh well. Moving on. At least I know this thing has poison. Like that's that's a thing I know for sure. This thing has poison. And fortunately I do have some opportunities to hunt Rathians. So Rathian Carapace I should be able to get from like normal Rathians, right? Like I shouldn't I shouldn't need to hunt the high-level version, but I do need the high-level version for scales and spikes. Hmm. Well, let me check, actually. Maybe I can check that in my item box for materials. Well, item pouch. I... I mean, they're not here. Is that in the Hunter Notes? Right, of course it's in the Hunter Notes. I can check what's high level and what's not in the Hunter Notes. That's what the Hunter Notes are for. Well. Where is the Rathian here? There you are. Low rank rewards. Let's see. Shell, scale... Oh, so the carapace is a high-level reward as well. I see, so I do need to hunt the high-level. I do need to hunt the high-level one. Well, all right then. Then that is what we shall do. Oh, but here's a moment of bad planning. I need to go to the bathroom, actually, and this is a live recording, and I'm not really in the mood to put this into Premiere Pro and splice it together and wait two and a half hours for the goddamn thing to render, so because I'm bad at planning, we're ending this video here, but I'll record a second one shortly. So, if you want to join me on a stream <laughs> to play some Monster Hunter World in the high-level areas, and this is gonna be high-level gameplay, then that happens on Saturdays at 8 p.m. Central European Standard Time. There's instructions on how to join down in the description, as well as links to my chip jars and my Patreon and merchandise store and all that other stuff that lets YouTubers survive these days. So, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in a minute.